Hey guys, The Real Reviews here. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys haven't seen my channel, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I just got the new iPhone XX Max and the iPhone XS, the original size. One in 64 and this is the iPhone in 256. I've been using it for a day or so now and I saw a couple problems. I'm gonna do a full review. Please subscribe guys to see my other videos. I'm gonna do a full unboxing of how it is now. I'll show you the, uh, the screen protector, the Belkin I got for $42 at Apple Store. And I just got the new iPhone XS Max, which is right here, the silicone case. And I'm gonna compare it with the original iPhone 8 Plus silicone case. And this is my original one, it's already open. Um, the iPhone XS Max uh, is not open. So this one right here is brand new. I'm gonna sh uh, take it out, put it on the phone, show you the differences. Basically it's the same thing, but I've used this one for about a year. I'm gonna show you how it broke down. All right, let's get into it right now. I'm gonna take this out. So this is the iPhone 8 Plus silicone case. This is right from the Apple Store, it was $39. I believe the iPhone XS was the same price it is. Over time of using it, if you can see, all the sides, all the black, uh, like the matte color, kind of broke down. And you can see the damages after a while coming out of your pockets. The volume buttons broke down right here on the side and also the bottom right lip and this is really troublesome because when it did drop i did have some issues and cracked my uh, side of my screen because it dropped because of the side another big issue with this is why it first started cracking if you can see there the whole middle of the screen of the protector cracked and you you can see it right there for that kind of money i'm hoping that uh this one is a little bit better the xs max but the biggest difference is you can see it's a little bit of the velvet inside and it's very great case. I like it very slim, very protecting if it's not all mangled. And I'm gonna open up the XS Max case and kind of show you the differences on that. You can see the little arrow right there. And let's see if anything changed on the new one. So if you can see on the inside of this, it's got the iPhone imprint right there. And let me see what else it says. It says made in, uh, designed at Apple in California right there. There's nothing else on the sides, velvet inside. The biggest thing I see right now with the back and front is that they changed the camera size and the area of where it's at. So if you can see, this one is um, vertical and this one is horizontal. It also looks like the size of the case got smaller. So I believe that it did, I believe the width dropped down from 3.1 inches to three inches. And that's because it's a full OLED screen. And I will be doing a video and unboxing Please subscribe guys, I'll show you all of that. So now you can see how the matte looks right out of the box, it's so clean. They came out with a couple new colors this year at the Apple Store. They have this awesome blue color. I was gonna buy it, but I decided to stick with the black since I got the space gray color. Looks a little bit better and more fresh. If you can see on the inside, the iPhone little imprint is still there barely this one's a little bit cleaner it looks if you can see right there it even looks like the width is smaller and that's um that's a big deal as well because now they have a smaller case and how is it going to fit the phone so you can't use the other the other case obviously because of the smaller width and you wouldn't want to because of the camera angle is different. So let's take this out. So 
Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna kind of insert it from the side and I'm gonna pop it in. Very snug, wow. Looks great, I love it. Fits perfectly around the camera and the bottom around the speakers right there. If you can see, it's a little bit shinier on like the eight plus. The buttons feel great. Let me see if it's easier to get, it's about the same to get into the silence. And if we can see here, your power button got way bigger. So this is a huge difference and you can definitely feel the difference and see the difference. And I was kind of wondering why they did that. Was it because a lot of people um, broke the smaller button or the protector right here was harder to press? It was. And when I would press it, you can see it's indented a lot, a lot thinner. And this one's a lot kind of extruded out a little bit more so you can kind of feel it a little bit better and you can click it. You won't mess up if it's up or down. It's basically doing the same function. Great case. Definitely recommend you guys getting an Apple case. And uh, it's a softer material. And if you ask somebody, why are you getting a softer material compared to a harder material? The reason why is because a harder material, when you buy it on Amazon or any of those stores, when you drop it, it sends the vibrations through the whole phone. When you get a softer material, it kind of absorbs a little bit more of that shock or that drop. So please be aware of that. Um, you know, Apple's not paying me, but I just know that kind of stuff. Thank you guys for watching. So this is the new Apple iPhone XS Max silicone case directly from the Apple store. Looks great. And please subscribe, guys. I'm going to be doing a whole video right now on the unboxing and on the issues I already noticed with this phone. All right. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.